third chapter, step eight. We're working on a query and we're adding a calculated field. Add a calculated field in the third column. Here's our third column. Name the field extended amount and get the field so it should multiply the quantity ordered from the order details table by the unit price for the products table. All right, let's start there. And this time, instead of hand typing the formula, let's try the expression builder. So I'm gonna click in the field. I'm gonna come up here on the design tab and click builder. I've added a copy of the formula so you see it a little bit larger. This is one of the first times we've worked on Expression Builder. Over here in Expression Elements, we have the query we're working on, query one. We have functions. These functions are components that are math formulas that we will eventually use and math formulas from Excel too. Um, three Access Video is actually the name of my database. So that's the database you've been building. And if we click the plus, it shows you all those parts. Tables, queries, forms. We don't have any queries or, I mean, any forms or reports right now, but we do have some tables. So let's get to work. What I usually do is I open that database under expression elements that's my database. And then here I'm asked to work with the order details table and the products table. So I know I need to go into these tables. So I hit the plus and I expand that. Let me get a little bit bigger so you can see. And so what I wanna do is find the field that is the in the orders details table the quantity ordered so the first thing i'm going to do is double click order details table then in the expression category are the fields for my order details table i'm going to double click quantity and you'll see that it started the math up here from the order details table we want the quantity field now i want to multiply that and you'll look here in our formula that's typed out, that's a multiplication symbol, which is shift and eight on your number keys beneath your F keys. You don't really wanna do your number lock keys that may or may not have the multiplication symbol. So I'm going to go shift and eight, which gives me that multiplication symbol. And now it tells us we need the unit price from the products table. So I'm gonna come back to my expression elements. I'm gonna double click the products table. I'm going to double click the units price and you can see how I've got products table and units price. That's set now. What I want to do now is I like to wrap parentheses around. You don't have to do that. I went shift and zero. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I just took my arrow and moved my mouse back to the beginning of my formula. I'm going to go shift and nine. Um, you could click your mouse, but I find this easier. I'm now going to move my mouse all the way back before that parentheses, and I'm going to put my title. I'm going to name my field extended amount. I do not want spaces, but I do want capitals for both extended and amount. And now I need a colon, which is shift colon, that key to the right of your L. You want a colon to tell access the extended amount is your field name and everything to the right of the colon is your formula. Once you have it to match as you see here and also in the expression builder we're ready I believe to go on and click OK. Since it's asking us to formulate the calculated fields I'm going to go ahead and go OK. And that would get our formula all here in our field. I'm going to expand it so you can see that formula. Making sure I'm clicked here in this column for our formula, I'm going to come up here to Property Sheet. And at Property Sheet, it's asking us to change the calculated field to Currency. So that's under Format. We click the pull-down menu and we choose Currency. It's going to give us a dollar amount, a decimal, and two periods. And then it asks us to change the caption to total dollars. You do want to click off of each row onto another row in the property sheet to save. I'm going to type total and I can put spaces, dollars. And again, I'm going to click off the row to make sure access saves. 
change total row to the extended amount to sum. All right, our total row is down here below, and we're going to click the group by where we have a pull down and make that go to sum. And that's the end of step eight. It's asking us to make another calculated field. I'm going to go ahead and close my property sheet and click here in the fourth column. And it's saying we want a new field named discounted amount. Now, I could type that, but I found it's easier to go ahead and bring up the expression builder. Add builder. I'm going to click the builder. And now it's asking us to add a calculated field in the fourth column that multiplies the number of items ordered, the price per item, and the discount field. This will calculate the total discount. So I'm going to go ahead and open my access database. Yours may be named a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to look for some tables here. I need the order details table, the products table, and the customers table. So I'm going to open the tables, and I'm going to click the order details table. And from the order details table, I need the quantity items or number items ordered, which is quantity. So I'm going to double click quantity. And then we're going to go shift and eight and multiply that by the products table and the price or unit price. And we're going to go shift and eight and multiply that by customers and their discount. So I double click customers and I double click discount, which is way down at the bottom. Now I'm going to scroll my mouse to the beginning. I just use the arrow keys. I'm going to type discount and amount and then I'm going to go shift and colon to make sure that Excel knows this is a access knows this is a field name. We're asked to format fields so I'm going to go ahead and go OK to our formula. I'm still clicked in this column for discount amount so I'm going to come to property sheet. It asks us to calculate the field as currency. I come over here to format and my pull down and I select currency. Click off that so it saves and add a caption of discount amount. The caption is next to the bottom and it asks us to type discount and amount AMT as abbreviated with no period. And then it tells us to come back and change the total row to a sum so we're going to come back here, it's group by, there's our total row all the way across, and we're going to click that and go to sum. Run the query, save the query. I'm going to go ahead and close the property sheet, just makes it a little neater. Hit run, and there's our discounted amount in currencies and our total dollar amount in currency formulas. And then we go and return to design view. That is the end of step nine.